Nothing news, my lovely, wonderful people. Not be smoking the apple, so Fubara don't re, don't reply. Um, we kill. Say don't worry yourself. You see the local government election. If you like, carry out all your threats, whatever you want to do, it will go on as planned. Okay, so you can do whatever you want to do. Go on, you know, um, expand yourself, enlarge yourself, speak, threaten, however way or however way you want to do it is fine. But if if the truth will be told, okay, if the truth will be told, you will, okay, you will, whether you like it or not, the election will go on as planned. Don't forget what has been going on in uh, River State. The present uh, governor. Sim Fubara has told, you know, uh, local government chairman to make sure that they don't contest under APC or PDP, but they should contest under APP. He says because that is the way forward at the moment. Everybody has been wondering. Wiki the other day was in River State and he said he feels sorry for those of them who are going to join APP, that they will be disgraced and he's bigger than, uh, you know, whatever they think, you know, it may be coming. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. I may not be a lawmaker, but I know there is something they call first in hand. Sim Fubara declares, whether they like it or not, this is the very important detail. According to a report by The Punch, the River State Governor Sim Fubara on Monday reaffirmed that the local government election scheduled for October the 5th 2024 will proceed as planned. This declaration came despite a federal high court ruling saying it is high time that trees despite the court ruling giving an adjournment, giving an instruction that um, by Justice Peter Laffey of Abuja, which restricts Independent National Electoral Commission INEC from releasing voters registered to the River State Independent National Electoral Commission for the election. Governor Fubara, in a statement, expressed confidence in the, of, in the legal system and the election moving forward. He emphasized that the ROSIEC and had obtained a prior court order authorizing the conduct of the election and mandate security agencies to provide support. I'm aware that ROEICE told me they already had an order mandating them to conduct election on the 5th of October 2024 and the security agencies to support them, Fubara explained. In his remark, the governor admitted that he was not a lawyer but noted that his understanding of a key legal principle, I might not be a lawyer but I know there is something they call first in hand and since they have the first in hand, we will give them all the necessary support for that election to be conducted. For Barra expressed optimism that the election would be among the most transparent and peaceful ever conducted in River State, pledging full backing to ensure free, fair process. Saying, if we can like, he should threaten all he wants. This election will go on and nothing will stop it. The election is part of the process and nobody trying to use court to this allow the people's preference will uh, we continue. This is unheard of. What sort of a statement is that? If anyone join any party of their choice, they will have themselves to blame. I hear they say someone has said that. Apparently, this is a word that was said by Wiki, saying, you know, that um, he's going to deal with everybody or anyone who recently, you know, has gone to join APP. Uh, you know, uh, this is the party that Governor Sim Fubara has advised the local government chairman to join and to contest under. So there's just a lot going on in River State at the moment. Uh, there's really a lot going on in terms of, uh, you know, trusting one another. Uh, since Wiki and Fubara fell out, a lot has also happened to the people. Those who should, you know, not take sides are beginning to fight, take sides, you know, and saying, I am for Wiki. Another said, say, I am for Sinful Barra, which is not moving the state forward. So such things should not be should not be heard of. Such things should not be allowed to see the light of day. However, these are some of the things that are sincerely, truly happening. Why every single person needs to, you know, go again. We need to go back into the books. Do not back up politicians because at the end of the day, they are politicians. 
and they remain politicians and they will do whatever they think they will they, you know whatever they want to do is ma mainly and mostly what profits them not for any other person so it is very very important that we look upon all of these things and you know make sure that the truth is revealed and nobody just sit back there and allow the same thing over and over again the days upon us are so important and every single person is just waiting okay and rivers people please whether fubara or wiki make sure that nobody you know you don't they don't put you pitch you against the other person because at the end of the day these people have a, a way of you know manipulating the system just to favor them uh, and we as a people must begin to rise up to that occasion where we say you know enough is enough we cannot be manipulated that's what they've been doing from time immemorial manipulation of the people they come they make all sorts of promises you believe them you trust that they will keep to, you know to their part of their bargain you support them you vote them in what happens they come there totally completely you are eradicated to the background as if you never existed so mm -hmm. we, people must become very very careful people must become very 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 careful and do not allow you know the same thing over and over again well these are some of the issues that are on ground today these are some of the main problems we are faced with as a nation and as a people. And if there is any time in our history where we must, you know, begin to look at this whole situation very closely and understand that we are the ones being oppressed here. We should not allow them, okay, take over, you know, begin to begin to take over that which belongs to us by deceiving us, giving us peanuts and taking away all that we really have. You know, we need to begin to prioritize the people. Okay, not the politician. Nigeria, because they've so impoverished the people, it's a mind game. Okay, they impoverish the people to afflict them. And so they, they give them, it's like, you know, you dangle a, do a bone before the dog. You look at the price of fear. People are barely getting by. Then you call somebody and say, you know what, I'll give you 15 million. Do this for me. I'm not talking about uh, 150 million. I said 15 million. So people will think that is the end of the world. The way they will go out there and try to do everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that they get that money will shock you. But these are not supposed to be. These are very, very dangerous times. You know, where politicians want to use the people to get what they want. We must not allow them. We must and we cannot allow those things to happen. So please, let's be careful. It is what it is. Don't forget to please give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.